And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. It's a rainy finish to the work week across the Snake River Plain. To start off this Friday morning, seeing some rain on the Storm Tracker radar really moving through the Snake River Plain, and this moisture moved through for the overnight. And we'll continue to see that as we move throughout the day. It'll actually will become steadier for this afternoon, so definitely grab that umbrella on your way out the door this morning. Temperatures, no surprise, we are seeing rain out there well into the 40s across the Snake River Plain. It's currently 43 degrees in Blackfoot, a mild 45 degrees in Pocatello, 44 degrees in Idaho Falls across the the western half of Wyoming, seeing temperatures in the 30s with the 30s and 40s currently across the central mountains as well. Getting a wider view to see where all this moisture is coming from. We'll have more moisture that will build in from the southwest and even as we have that next system off the coast. As this pushes an inches closer towards eastern Idaho, that cold front will actually move through. By about tomorrow morning, we'll, we will have a lot more moisture building in ahead of it, definitely for the overnight and into the first half of tomorrow, but we will see some clearing during the day tomorrow. Tommy out the moisture 7 o'clock this morning again still seeing some showers popping up across the snake ever plain rain and snow across the central mountains and as I put it in motion by about 1 o'clock this afternoon notice we are seeing a steadier rain across the snake ever plain even across the eastern snake highlands into western Wyoming as well and then by about the later half of the afternoon we do have a chance for to also see some thunderstorms indicated by the shades of orange also by the shades of yellow out there looks like the greater chance will be across the southeast high Islands near Soda Springs, even by Montpelier, Malad City. And then for the overnight, we do get a slight break from the rain, at least into the early evening and then into the first half of the overnight. But then more moisture builds in right around 8 o'clock for tomorrow morning. Now notice, it's a quick shot of moisture by about the afternoon hours is relatively clear out there. So we'll start off rainy for the first half of the day for tomorrow. But by tomorrow afternoon, if you have any outdoor plans, looks like you're good to go out there. We'll see a mixture of sun and clouds as we move throughout the day. For today, not really going to be seeing any sunshine. Rain is likely as we move throughout the day. What a chance for some thunderstorms by this afternoon. Temperatures kind of similar, maybe slightly cooler than what we saw yesterday. We'll have high temperatures in the 50s for the Snake River Plain. It'll be 56 degrees in Blackfoot, 58 degrees in Pocatello, 55 in Idaho Falls, Western Wyoming, generally seeing temperatures in the 40s, also for the Central Mountains, mixture of the 40s and the 50s with rain likely across all areas. For tonight, temperatures will generally be in the 30s and the 40s. To start off during the early evening, we will see rain across the Snake River Plain, slight break during the first half of the overnight with more moisture building in during the first half of tomorrow. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast leaves us with a high temperature of 56 degrees for tomorrow with rain showers to start off the morning and then we'll see a mixture of sun and clouds as we move throughout the day. It will be a bit windy out there. Wind continues into Sunday with a mostly cloudy sky but temperatures warm slightly to reach a high temperature of 60 degrees before they cool off into next week. Across Idaho Falls expect a high temperature of 55 today, 54 degrees for tomorrow with a chance for rain during the morning, clearing during the afternoon temperatures in the 50s for the weekend and then looking into next week we'll see a mixture of the 40s and the 50s with a chance for some rain and snow in the valleys by Wednesday. Across the Teton area, Jackson, Afton, and Driggs, showers and thunderstorms possible for today. Rain and snow likely for tomorrow. Chance of rain during the later half of Sunday and then Monday, Tuesday, even into the middle of next week, generally seeing rain and snow likely for your area with high temperatures in the 30s and the 40s. Across the central mountains, expect showers with a chance for some thunderstorms this afternoon. Partly sunny for tomorrow and then on Sunday, a chance of rain and that chance of rain persists in to early next week. Looks like Tuesday rain is likely and then even on Thursday rain and snow is possible for your area as well.